Coming up on Nicole's View. So there is going to be a groundbreaking film to set off the new decade. On January the 10th, 2020, a film called The Murder of Nicole Brown Simpson is set to hit the theaters, VOD, which is video on demand, and other streaming digital outlets. And what is so groundbreaking about this film is that you're not force fed that O.J. Simpson is the murderer. That's right, because every movie you've seen, every documentary, every news special you've seen about this case, they've always said he did it, even though Simpson was acquitted during his criminal trial. So to see a movie like this, and then you go and look at the comments on the trailer. It is delicious. <laughs> Woo! Yes. I will be trying to see this movie in a theater if I can help it. <laughs> Let's jump into it. <laughs> Hey guys, it is Nicole here back on this Saturday night. I hope you guys are all doing good out there and welcome back to Nicole's View. So first and foremost, I have to give a big shout out to Mr. Chris Miller at Black Up Inya 2. He is the one that gave us this news about this movie, so I wanted to give him props. And I want you guys to make sure if you are not subscribed to him at Black Up Inya 2, definitely do so. He has excellent commentaries, excellent videos. He is also an artist, as you can see. So definitely support Mr. Miller. He did a great uh, video about Steven Tyler as well that a lot of you need to go check out. I made sure to pass that on. Uh, through Twitter, on Facebook, but um, yeah, make sure to stop by, give our brother some love, support, and um, keep doing your thing, Chris. I love it. I love it. I was so happy to see this this morning when I woke up. I said, wow, what a day uh, to wake up to some great news, to see these folks having a straight up meltdown makes me feel great inside, okay? <laughs> All right, guys, so here is the article that I'm going to be reading from MovieWeb.com. And it says, the murder of Nicole Brown Simpson trailer. Ask, what if OJ didn't do it? Yeah, because, you know, over the last 25 years, you've seen this OJ Simpson industry where even after he was acquitted of these murders back in 1995, you had a media <clears throat> that was, you know, hell bent on being racist when it came to this case from O.J. Simpson on the cover of like Newsweek and Time and whatever, you know, magazine covers he was on and how they would on purpose darken his face to make him look more sinister. You know, the big black boogeyman, he had to do this. He had to commit this crime. He ran away. Uh, we all remember that chase. I'll never forget that chase. I had to be no more than like what maybe 10 or 11 when this happened but i remember that i remember being at home my mom i think it was like the basketball game was on nba finals something like that and the next thing you see on the tv is oj simpson in that white bronco truck you know those type of moments 
you know, especially during the 90s growing up as a child, that's one of those moments that you'll never forget. I'll never forget it. I'll never forget my mom on the phone with one of her friends. And she's like, go, OJ, go, go, OJ, go. Like everybody was team OJ, even when this news initially broke of them being killed. Folks was team OJ, okay? White folks, black folks, everybody was like, go OJ team, you know, we're team OJ, OJ. And then as this trial <clears throat> went to court and it progressed, you saw how the media, they all got on code. You know, folks like Fox News and other people came into prominence because of this case, okay? Um, and you saw how they progressed and basically said, we're going to get on code. OJ Simpson was accused of beating on Nicole, you know, domestic violence. So automatically that means he did it. You know, there's nothing else. And that is what, you know, a lot of them think. They think because he beat on her, he had to have done it. They were separated by that time, I believe, divorced, even though they'll never tell you how uh, Nicole Simpson actually wanted to get back with O.J. Simpson. There was actual letters of her begging to get back with him, but O.J. Simpson had actually moved on, was with another woman and all that good stuff. So they had been separated for over, I believe, two years, if I'm not mistaken. So it just didn't make sense. You know, when you actually, you're deprogrammed from the mainstream racist media and you actually start to go back and look at this case and you're like, wait a minute, this didn't make sense. That didn't make sense. And the wonderful thing about it is uh, there were cameras in the room. So there are some people who feel like that was it was a bad thing because you have Judge Ito up here. Folks may be putting on a show, this, that and the third. You don't know if people are being, you know, honest about everything and legit about everything. But anyway, you know, that case was on TV. And if you actually paid attention to what Simpson's lawyers, the the evidence they had and how they were able to basically deconstruct that entire case and show that racism was the main one of the main things racism corruption you had all these people the evidence tainted none of it made sense and then you had a jury made up of predominantly black people and see they thought because oh you have this uppity negro he married this white woman and they thought that the black women on this jury were going to just be on that look look at him he went to the other side see sit up her swirling and all that but they actually said let's actually look at the evidence see marcia clark that whole bunch christopher darden they thought they were going to be able to rely on um black women being angry that this man you know left his black wife for a white woman they thought that they were gonna just look at that and just be pissed off about that and not look at the actual evidence and see what happened was they actually looked at the evidence what happened was you had all that corruption you had rodney king prior how those cops got off you put all of that together okay you put all of that together of course of course the corruption the racism of course they're going to not convict him. Not just because of that. The case itself was riddled with racism and corruption. So why, why 25 years later, these folks have not gotten over the L. They have not gotten over that major L in history. So you've seen the programs, you've seen the movies, you've seen everything in, in, under the sun where they have said nope he is guilty see it's funny oj simpson was acquitted but they say he's still guilty cosby was um convicted and they said no he's guilty so it's funny how it's more that same old i'm white and i say so so we say he's guilty we don't give a damn if he he was found um not guilty he's still guilty michael jackson this documentary said he's guilty. We don't give a damn if he was acquitted. He's still guilty. So you know what, folks? When I heard about this this morning, I said, oh, this is good. This is good. So there is a director who is being brave enough to come out and say, let's actually look at this white man over here. And folks, 
them people in the comments section of that trailer. Now there's there's an official trailer and there's another trailer that someone else uploaded. That that is the one that has like all the comments, but the official trailer it looks a little bit better. Um, but I'm gonna put both links. I'm gonna put the official trailer from the actual director, the company, and then I'm gonna put this other trailer that it looks like someone maybe got from somewhere else offline. But the comments are on that one. But anyway, so you have this movie, okay? And we've all seen the specials and whatnot, as I've said. And this is what <clears throat> they are saying. Excuse me, guys. It says, the murder of Nicole Brown Simpson trailer Ask what if OJ didn't do it? And it says, the murder of Nicole Brown Simpson will be released in theaters and on VOD, which is video on demand, next month. And a new trailer for the true crime movie has been released online, starring Mina uh, Severi, if I'm, excuse me if I'm screwing her name up, from American Pie, as Nicole, Nicole Brown Simpson. The movie takes some creative liberties by suggesting everything we thought we knew about her infamous double homicide is completely wrong. You can see what I mean by watching the official trailer. Now, like I said, I'll leave the official trailer, the link, you know, in the comment section or the description box, one of the two. Um, and I'm, I'm actually glad this is happening. You know, this is good. Though based on true events, the murder of Nicole Brown Simpson introduces the idea that real life serial killer Glenn Rogers, AKA the Casanova killer, may be the real murderer behind the heinous crime that took the lives of Brown <clears throat> Simpson and her friend Ronald Goldman. Co-starring with Severi in the movie are Nick Stahl as Glenn Rogers, Drew Roy, as Ronald Goldman and Gene Freeman as O.J. Simpson. Now, in the trailer, I think they could have did a little bit of a better job with someone who looks like O.J. Simpson. But you know what? Fine. I'll still go with it. Okay. <laughs> and then like some of the clips, like the wigs, they could have did a little bit better with that. But that's not the point, right? <laughs> anyway, also starring as other real life personalities who knew Brown Simpson are Terry Manning as Faye Resnick, uh, Angus... Bruckner as Chris Kardashian and Trent Walker as Bruce Jenner. <laughs> Interesting. The murder of Nicole Brown Simpson is directed by Daniel uh, Ferrans, who previous whose previous work suggests he is the right person for such a project. In addition to helming the uh, Amityville murders, Ferrans also directed The Haunting of Sharon Tate, uh, which uh, de depicted the life of another famous murder victim in the days leading up to her death. The movie is written by Michael Arter and produced by Ferrians, Eric Brenner, and Lucas Jarich. Jar 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 These are some interesting names. <laughs> Charles Arthur Berg and Jim Jacobson, executive producer. As you all know, on June 12, 1994, Nicole Brown Simpson was found dead alongside Goldman outside her home in Los Angeles. As the prime suspect, her ex-husband, O.J. Simpson, was arrested soon after with his tele televised court case, nicknamed the trial of the century. Give me a break. Though O.J. was ultimately acquitted for the double homicide, most people believe he is actually guilty and cheated the, ju the judicial system to get away with murder. Now, how, how did he cheat the judicial system? How did he do that? You see, even this writer, although he's supposed to be just basically talking about the movie, you see how he still snuck that in there? How did O.J. Simpson cheat the judicial system? O.J. Simpson was able to do what every other white, well-off person in America that's not even famous was able to do. See, this is what we're talking about. They are still mad to this day that Simpson was, was able to have a dream team with a black man named Johnny Cochran leading the way. That still burns their asses. 
It's okay for them to have their team of lawyers. It's okay. They can do that. But Negro, you're not supposed to be able to do that. <clears throat> Writing a hypothetical book years later called If I Did It didn't help his case, nor did losing a civil trial to Goldman's family, which found him responsible for their deaths of Simpson and Goldman, officially the case remains unsolved. See, they, they, of course, he had to make sure to throw that in there. The tragic story of what happened to Nicole Brown Simpson and Ron Goldman was explored on the small screen in 2016, the FX series, The People vs. O.J. Simpson, American Crime Story, and the limited series, Cuba Gooding Jr. starred as the criminal, um, joined in the cast by Sterling K. Brown as Christopher Darden, Nathan Lane as F. Lee Bailey, Sarah Paulson as Marsha Clark, John Travolta as Robert Shapiro, Courtney B. Vance as Johnny Cochran, and Kenneth Chowell as Judge Lance Ito. Neither Simpson nor Goldman were portrayed on the series as it picks up with, the, with OJ's arrest and the start of the trial or his trial. The murder of Nicole Brown Simpson will be released in theaters, VOD, video on demand, and digital outlets on January 10th, 2020. In addition to this movie, Brown Simpson will also be portrayed by Charlotte Kirk in the upcoming uh, crime thriller, Nicole and OJ, with uh, Boris Cujo co-starring as her alleged murderer. When considering the rising popularity of true crime podcasts, movies, and TV shows, I suppose none of this should be too surprising. The murder of Nicole Brown Simpson trailer comes to us from Quiver Distribution. And that's the end of the article. And like I said, um, it sounds like it's probably going to be in select theaters. Maybe they, I don't know if it's going to have a big wide release or a small limited one. Most likely a small limited one because, you know, uh, because of the plot. O.J. Simpson is not uh, in this movie considered the murderer. Um, and I expect it. They're going to do whatever they can to try to bury this movie. But I'm going to go try to see it. I am going to try my best to go see this movie. I'm going to do a review. And I'm going to tell you my honest to God truth my truth what i think of it you should too why not why not go see it you know they have no problems releasing fake documentaries um they have no problems releasing movies like harriet you know with fake made-up characters they have no problem rewriting our history okay so you can't get mad at this director. Now, unless he does some shady crap towards the end and points at O.J. Simpson or some stupid crap like that, then I'll call him out. But from what I am reading, it sounds like they're not going to be pointing at O.J. Simpson, but someone else called Glenn Rogers. Now, um, the ID channel, they did a special about Glenn Rogers some years back. In the whole OJ thing. And it was really interesting. There are a lot of people who think different. If they don't think OJ did it. They they think that it was either mob connected slash drugs. This Glenn Rogers dude. And even his Simpsons eldest son. Jason Simpson. Those have been like the three major. Um, I don't want to say. Well conspiracies or people think if Simpson didn't do it. Those are the three main um, people I've heard, okay? And the mobster slash drug thing is probably the most plausible because of how she and Ronald Goldman was murdered. Um, it just didn't make sense. The time frame didn't make sense for O.J. Simpson, who at this point they said had arthritis I just don't see that. And you have Ronald Goldman, who was like a third degree black belt, something like that in karate. And he fought for his life. He fought for his life. 
and his knuckles were all busted and bruised and Simpson didn't have anything on him. It just never made sense. The time frame for, so Simpson did all this slashing and killing folks, not no blood on him, no marks, no nothing, able to kill them, go hop in a limo, go to McDonald's, hop, and then hop, it just didn't make sense in a, a time span of what, 20, 15 minutes? It just didn't make sense. And the only people who believe Simpson did this are these folks out here who, you know, y'all already know. Y'all already know. Like Chris said in his video, you know, black men, they are just like, it's like when you hear of the actual facts of Simpson's case, it just, it boggles the mind. It doesn't even make sense. It, it, it makes zero sense. Who could do all that <laughs> and not have a drop of blood on you? No, no marks, no nothing. That was like a heinous, brutal murder. Blood everywhere, everywhere. It was messy. It was, like I said, cut, literally cut throat. Okay, nearly, Nicole Simpson was nearly decapitated. How can you do all of that and have not a speck on you? That, like I said, defies logic. But you know what? This is what these folks think of us since the beginning of time. The magical, brutal Negro that can, you know, do all this. It, it makes zero sense. And, um... I welcome this film. Yeah. When you look at the trailer, yeah, it looks a little low budget, but I'll still give it a chance. Why not? Folks gave Harriet a chance. Folks gave Surviving R. Kelly a chance. Folks gave Leaving Neverland, that debauchery, a chance. Why can't we give this movie a chance? I'm here for it. Like I said, I'm going to give my honest review. Hopefully, I can actually go in a theater. I wanted to go in a theater to see who else is going to be in there. Oh, yeah. I, I want to see the reactions if there's other people in there. Hell, there may not be anybody in there. I don't give a damn. I'm going to go see this movie. And you shouldn't be shamed out of <laughs> going to see it, too. You know, hey, why not? <laughs> but anyway, guys, let me know what you think. Oh, I know you will. Like, comment, share, subscribe, notify. Don't forget to hit that notification bell to get all notifications on all my videos. And I will see you all in the next video.